All right, so the Gilbert Ray Campground is in this area as well. It's in Saguaro National Park. Saguaro National Park here. That's where uh, we're just out with old, uh, old Tombstone here. There's a trailhead right across from the, uh, the campground. So let's turn into the campground here and I'm not sure if it's part of Tucson Mountain Park, but this is a fee area, paid campers only, no daytime picnicking. Hikers use pullouts along the Cane Loop and Kinney Road. So we're going to go back here. We're going to see how far we can get back here. Yeah. Alright, this is the registrations area when you pull in here and uh, they have up all their signs. The office is closed for the summer. No refunds. Checkouts 11 a.m. A seven day limit. Alrighty. And it looks like $20 for RV sites, $10 for tent sites. Right there is where you just register. Here's an actual general map of the campground as well. Seems like they have a good amount of sites available. All right, and we will go in and check it out. So come along. All right, as you enter in, it looks like there are some uh, some restrooms. Um, here and uh, let me just quickly give you a second here and just show them to you real fast. A second here. So this is as soon as you enter. Uh, I'm not sure what we're near, but uh, there are some restrooms here. Let's take a look at what they look like inside. Oh, so they does look like they have a shower in here. Oh no, no shower. My mistake. No shower in these, but they are very, very clean. I will say that. Very clean. It's very nice. All right. And then, uh, looks like they have a dump station, a water station. There's A loop, there's B loop, there's C loop. And then there's H loop, first come, first serve, which I'm not really sure what that is, but we will go over there and check that out as well. So this is section C we are in, and you can see the, uh, the campsites right here. You got a little, little table right there. Got your electric right there. You will have to go to the water station. To obviously get water and dump. There's another spot right there. Well, that's a really nice spot. It's got a nice view of the, uh, of the mountain. And it's really nice here. I'm not sure what it's like in the, uh, in the uh, winter time when it's full, but as far as what it's like right now, it is really nice. Here's another little spot right there. All right, let's go check out the rest of it here. Come along. All right, still in section C over here. And I have found where a tent could go. So here is, let's see, C18, tent camping only. Wood fires are prohibited. This looks like a very nice tent site right here. You got a little grill. Got a little picnic area as you can see. Oh man, you got an amazing view as well. Can't beat that, right? A $10 a night to tent camp here. I mean, it is quite a... Uh, 
quite amazing. You got another little tent spot right there in front of you as well. You got that really good view of the mountain right there. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Maybe not like on a day like today. It's already 90 degrees outside now. But in the winter time, this would be really, really nice. And they got sizes for all rigs, it seems like. I mean, there's a nice little spot for a smaller camper. This looks like a nice little, just like pull through spot, really, right here. Which is kind of interesting. And we'll go over to A and B loop as well. And then we'll do H as well for you again. Uh, see what that was like. All right, here we go. Okay, so we are over in A section, as you can see. More on the back side of A section. It is really, really nice here. The spaces are very spread out, as you can see. There's a lot of good privacy. Um, there is an electric box over there. I believe it's just a 30 amp. Uh, when I looked at it. Once again, no water, no sewer to any of these sites, but for $20 a night, the fact that you get electric, I do believe that's just a 30 amp, the uh, fact that you get electric, $20 for these kind of views, is just amazing. This space is, is rather large. I mean, I've been at campgrounds that cost $100 a night and you don't even get this kind of space and peace and tranquility, that's for sure. I mean, uh, this is really nice. There's a little walking trail here because I have the truck parked over here, but it's right next to the bathrooms actually. So a lot of these sites are super close. They have a a lot of uh a lot of bathrooms I'm playing an area where you could wash your dishes right here i would assume um have a little picnic table there but i don't think you're i don't think you can camp at that one or anything more sites right there i mean this this place is really really nice easy back in sites not tight at all. Let's come over here to the men's side. Let's see what we got in here. Nice clean restrooms. They smell really, really good in here. So I'm not sure. I don't think this place has has showers, but they do some, the bathrooms are like amazing. Okay, and then here is H. This is, uh, let me back up here, H loop, as you can see. This would be right as you enter in on your left hand side. And I did see a sign that said first come, um, first serve. Let's see what kind of power they have here. Oh, goodness. Looks like 30 amps as well. And uh, so it looks like all the sites are just 30 amp. Um, and, uh, but for $20 a night, you know, you can't beat that. And I haven't seen any water or sewer at any of them, so you do definitely do have to go to the the dump station, no matter what site you happen to happen to be at. Definitely appears. Uh, you still can't beat it. It is still really. Really beautiful out this way. There are a few people here. There's actually somebody in the site right uh, right in front of where we're filming at, actually. So, 
All right, here we go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video here on the Gilbert Ray uh, campground. It is uh, $20 uh, for RVs and uh, $10 for tents. Um, they do have electric at uh, the RV sites. Look like all 30 amp for the most part, I believe. Uh, the tent sites are all are all primitive, $10 an evening. There are bathrooms scattered throughout the place. The bathrooms were uh, were amazingly clean and and uh, smelled fresh. Uh, there is uh, water stations and uh, dump stations on the property here as well. That's included. Um, so you really can't beat that. No, the place is just so beautiful. Um, yeah, I want to be here like now and just end it and just enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Yeah, there is a seven day stay limit to this uh, to this place. It must be very popular in the uh, in the winter time. I can definitely see why. There are, I think, three people I saw staying here right now, but. Uh, uh, you know, when it's a uh, hundred plus degrees out, it's probably not as enjoyable as it is in the winter when it's 70 degrees out. So, so yeah, if you want to see more of these videos, let us know in the uh, comments down below. Hit sub subscribe and notifications so you don't miss our latest video updates. All right, until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, we are at Signal Hill, just outside of uh, Tucson, just west of Tucson, and uh, never have been here before, and this is part of the, uh, the park, right Michelle? And uh, here are some. Nice little picnic area in here for you. It's a really nice little spot. Take you over here real quick. Got a little barbecue grill. Come out here and do a little. Uh, a little cooking maybe and uh, yeah they got a bunch of spots there's some more down there actually and uh, they do have uh, they do have restrooms I'd say there's probably about 10 spots out here actually it's really nice There's a little plaque over here we'll come read. Okay, there you are. This is Signal Hill Trail. And there's the information on it. Some absolutely amazing views out here. Okay, we are going to go walk this trail here at Signal Hill. It's supposed to be a half of a mile round. Uh, round trip actually I am uh, I am unsure though we came here to see the petroglyphs yes we are here to see the petroglyphs this is another spot in the 15 years we've been coming here on and off <laughs> that uh, I actually never knew about I've passed this road probably 10,000 times and I never knew that this was here 
so there are all kinds of picnic areas out here and uh, just amazing views so if you're in the area want a place to go for the day see some nature and the petroglyphs you can come out here and have a little have a little picnic and uh, here is another sign for you the Civilian Conservation Corps the CCC all right All these picnic areas do have accessible fire pits as well. Okay, and here we go, coming right across. This one has a, uh, real quick, this one has a, uh, a bigger grill area just to let you know if you're having a bunch of people. Well, that's really nice. If you have a bunch of people out here, uh, extra seating over, over there. And uh, you get some really nice, uh, nice views, right, Michelle? Right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blinded right now. It is, it is. Uh, Scorching I, hot. Yeah, it's it's probably ten o'clock, <laughs> and uh, the middle of summer here, so it is a uh, hundred degrees already at ten o'clock in the morning, which is getting a little unpleasant. But it's the best time to come if you want to videos because nobody's around there's another little area where you can go have a little picnic for yourself and here is all the trail information going the right way. we are going the right way crossed over a wash crossed over a wash there so if it is raining or has just run or rained within the past 24 hours you may want to be careful You may not get very far. Stay off the rocks and stay on the trail, please. This is prehistoric. There you go. This is really a, really a nice, uh, nice zen type of area out here, that is for sure. Oh, yeah. hey, <laughs> Lizards are very popular out here. Okay. <laughs> mm. other, other thing. I would definitely say this trail is very well kept and maintained. There is climbing involved, so... We are in a rattlesnake area as well, as you saw on the sign. There's climbing involved, so if you have problems, um, you know, with things like that, you'll want to keep that in mind. Let's get you this view out here real quick as we climb up higher. Oh, man. All right, and away we go. There are a few trails to do here. This is just one of them. And yes, Michelle is right, the climbing is getting a little bit steeper here as we're going. Well, if it wasn't so hot, it wouldn't be a big deal. We do have plenty of water with us. You know, we're only going about a half a mile here. And there are some other trails you can take and assess that go on out that way. We will not be uh, doing those. We will be 
going up here to the petroglyphs. Here we are. Oh my, there are just some, I mean, there's the- You can see the petroglyphs on the rocks here. Yes. There are the petroglyphs on the rocks. Let's get us out there a little bit closer. Give me a second here, there we go. change modes here because we cannot zoom in to get them all. Okay we are we are back um, to where I can show these to you zoomed in better because I was afraid you weren't seeing the petroglyphs in the dual screen mode because for some reason it does not allow me to zoom in. So let's make sure you can see them all here. you see any more, Michelle? Did you see these? Yeah. Okay, and then over here. Right on the side of this oh, okay. And then on the front of this rock right here. I got that one. Okay. Well, we can't, unfortunately, climb, so you can't really get some of the ones in the back. This would be an absolute great place to have a nice picnic and a lunch. Oh, absolutely. If it wasn't 100 degrees out at 10 o'clock already. But it is within driving distance of Snyder Hill and Gilbert Ray Campground. So um, it, it's, not, it's not far at all to come here and enjoy this.